Hello, my name is Alex McPhail and I'm sitting in the cruise of this Airbus 330-200. We've just departed from Johannesburg and this video goes out to Connor. Connor, we had a chat on the beach the other day and you asked me about all those buttons. How do I know what those 4,000 odd buttons do in the Airbus? Well, there's a nice view of the instrument panel behind me. And as you can see that there are various types of switches. There's round switches, square switches, there's different colors, there's uh, covered switches and uncovered switches, there's buttons and toggles. And right up in the top corner here, you'll see some that are just push buttons. Behind me, you can see that some of the panels are divided up to make it easy to understand. Over here, it says air. This whole panel here is to do with the air system on the aircraft. This panel here is all to do with the electrics. This panel is the fuel system. And this panel here is the uh, fire protection for the engines, the fire bottles. Some of the switches are covered, like these red ones over here are covered. And some of the black ones are also covered, like these black ones over here. A covered switch means that you need to check with your fellow crew member before you make any switch selection. So should our emergency checklist tell us to flip a switch, and it is one of these switches, before I make any selection, I'll confirm with the captain. IDG number two, confirm. He'll reply, A firm. I'll be able to lift up the switch at the cover and flip the switch. There's two very interesting ones here. Over here, you can see I can grab it and my finger hooks on. There's a little hook on it. That is a design that in a low light condition, let's say we have an electrical failure in the cruise, it's dark, and I want to get the lights back on easily. My finger can grab the switch, pull it up, and I can select the rat which is below it. Now the rat is a ram air turbine, which is a little propeller device which pops out of the wing and goes into the airflow. The propeller starts turning that drives a turbine and that then powers the aircraft. There's another one that's very similar on this side. My finger can hook onto this side. This is the oxygen mask manual selecting on if we're in a smoke situation and we can't see very well. Once again, my finger can hook onto that, flip it up and I can put the switch on. Those are just two very interesting ones. The other red covered ones are to say that if you flip those switches in the air, you may not recover the system until you're back on the ground. So be very careful if you select anything that's covered in a red cage. And then once again, the black ones are just uh, to confirm with crew members. There's also various rotary switches over here. And uh, some have got different shapes and patterns on them. And that's designed to, to show you the more important switches. These are just to do with air conditioning and they're smooth. And, uh, other types have got uh, grip on them. Emergency exit lights got a bit of grip. Once again, you can feel it easily in the dark or in low light condition. So Connor, that's a bit of information for you about switches. Not quite 4,000, but there are lots of switches. I hope you enjoyed that.